Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another product review. This time on a QFX PBX-38. Now this is a Bluetooth wireless speaker. Also has a lot of extra features on that. want to go over them with you. Let me get a little bit different camera angle here because this is a little bit larger, taller box and we'll show you some more features this has. Okay, now that we got a different angle here, you can see here it does have FM. It does have a USB card reader slot. It's got a micro SD card reader. Auxiliary, also is battery operated. Has a 24 hour continuous play battery. Has an 8 inch woofer. Now the ratings on this is way too high. It's probably close to like 50 or 60 watts theoretically RMS power but it comes in this box Let's kind of show you a little bit here and it does have a remote control as well as Bluetooth which is nice alright so now let's go ahead and get this open and I'll get the speaker out take a look at that as well as the accessories that come with it okay so now we're gonna go ahead and get this opened up here And they've got it taped up pretty good here. Alright. Now we'll go ahead and open this up here. And take that top styrofoam piece out. Pull them down in here. Actually, must be pretty far down in there, so let me go ahead and just grab it out here. Looks like it's got it tucked in here. So, looks pretty good. Alright, put this down over here out of the way. Put inside the box. Let's see where the other accessories are very bottom. Alright, there's the remote charging adapter and owner's oh, manual in here. We'll go over those in just a sec. Alright, let's move on. Okay, now that we've got the speaker taken out of the box, I'm going to want to lay it on its side here to kind of show you how they got this all tucked into the stand pole mount opening here, so that's pretty interesting. We'll just go ahead and unpack it. Move that off to the side. And we got the speaker. Now we've got a half inch compression driver doesn't need a full inch one because it is pretty small. As you can see, 8 inch woofer here on this. You see it there. Now we're going to go ahead and get a better camera angle to the back side, but there's only one handle here. Super light so you can hang it on the side with your hand. Probably feels about maybe 11 pounds. So it's not real, real light, but it's not heavy either. This, uh, this is ABS plastic. Feels pretty heavy duty. It's not thin in any way. Looks pretty good here on the cabinet. Even on the sides. Again, you've got the pole mount. So that's kind of nice. You can adjust that as well. Does have feet here for easy placement. So now that I've got it here on the back side, let me go ahead and get the camera at a better angle for the back plate. Okay, now that I've got the camera on a little bit better angle here for the back plate. This is the control panel. You've got volume, you got bass, treble, you got mic echo, and you got mic volume. You got your plug in here for your power adapter. This is a 15 volt input to charge 
the 12 volt battery that's built into this thing. You can replace it. I was talking to the gentleman there at QFX and you can remove the panel to expose the battery lead, slide it out and put another one. It's a smaller 12, what they call a half size 12 volt battery. Uh, should give you 24 hours of constant run time on this as far as playing your music at a moderate level. Of course it's going to be less if you have it in on full blast. Now we have a display here, LCD display. You have a USB input to run a micro SD card in here below it or you can use the USB to plug in a flash drive or a little portable hard drive and be able to play music through there. You have your auxiliary inputs and uh, those are left and right stereo so it's kind of nice. Mic 1 and 2 you can also use either one of these for a guitar. Also you have your power and you can turn this on. You have full battery. Uh, when it's charging it'll turn blue here. When it's charging it'll be red. Here's the on so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on see what it does. Okay. We turn that on. Now it says no card inserted. So we're going to keep going through the modes here. You have a mode switch, volume up and down because you do have remote and you have scan. So we're going to go ahead and hit the mode. It shows you Bluetooth. And you hit here. It'll show you the radio. So you got the radio there. Seems like it's picking up a signal pretty good there. And then of course you hit auxiliary. Let's use these ones for your line inputs. And then of course you're back to your card readers. So let me go ahead and get a copyright free music here. Put it on the SD micro slot and uh, let's hear how this sounds. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and insert the micro SD card. You're going to put it label side downward, contact up above. We're going to go ahead and put it at in, showing it's now reading it. Now we're going to turn it around. Well, let's go ahead and hear how this sounds. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and turn this up a little bit here. All right, here we go. Open up the manual and go over that while this music is playing. Again, the power strip. Charge that quickly. Now the user manual is not too much to it. it kind of gives you the basics on how to run it. As well as a panel using the remote. Also in other languages. Also comes with the one year warranty on that. So that's pretty nice. Alright. Take a look at the remote. plastic piece here. You want to remove this. Right. Let's see how the remote works. Alright. Working pretty good. So now let me go ahead and uh, turn up the volume on the speaker itself but turn the volume down on the remote. Because you have two different volumes both for the MP3 player Pretty easy to turn it up, it's pretty accurate as well.
nice on the base considering it is only an 8 inch woofer but it's doing really well. The clears, I really like the compression driver on this. Turn it back down here for a little bit. Now you do have a, here at the bottom, you do have two base ports on this to help with the bottom end. Now this is not gonna be a super deep base speaker but it definitely has a nice full range sound. That compression driver is definitely a nice step up compared to a piezo a horn tweeter. That's a lot of times a little too harsh. In my opinion, for the highs, you have to really turn them down. So this one here has really nice detail on the high end, which is a plus in my opinion. And the unit being a compact, it's, it's really nice. So let's go ahead and turn it back up and let's listen to some more music. Now I'm going to be taking this outside and we'll do, you know, a really nice, you know, blare it out and hear how it sounds in a bigger area. Probably do it from about 20 feet away versus this being only 3 to 5 feet from me now. So let's go ahead and turn it back up and let's hear how it sounds. really a nice quality sounding speaker. Uh, build quality is very nice. Um, I did a previous review on another QFX speaker. It was a backpack one. This here doesn't have as much bass as that one, but this one here excels it in details in the highs because of that compression driver. A lot different and a lot better in my opinion to get those nice crisp highs with not being harsh or real over detailed just a perfect blend on that I've got to give my hats off to QFX it's a good balance of not super deep bass but it's got a good full range sound to it the driver in here is very nice and it's balanced very well with this tweeter uh, I've got to take my, my hats off to them this sounds really good um, I can only imagine uh, until I get it outside, we're going to crank it out some more so here. You can lay it on its side. It does have a little indentation there, but it does rock a little bit. But it feels pretty sturdy where you can place this on its side if you have to. Maybe in the grass, if you're at a party or something, you just want some music. You don't want to stand it straight up. Uh, definitely looks like there's some uh, coated cloth here. It looks like a paper driver. Uh, again, the woofer is very well balanced with this, not too boomy. Two ports here again, help that bottom end a little bit, and uh, does really well. So I'm kind of excited to take this outside, and we'll finish up the video. We'll do some sound pressure tests, and we're going to do some sound pressure tests with my meter here, and that way we can get an idea on what this is putting out music-wise and uh, hopefully be able to help you. Now, you can get these from their Amazon store. This is what uh, they sent me from. You can get this for under $67, so it's good. So I just wanted to tell you the price before we head out there. I'll have all the meters, kind of give you an idea on how this thing is putting out the decibels. I'm getting excited. So let's go ahead and take it out there. One, the video after that. Let's head on out there. We're outside. Sunny day here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do some outdoor 
demonstrations. I'm also going to give you a screenshot of the decibel from three feet from the speaker in front of it. Uh, pretty darn loud for an eight inch woofer. Very compact system. So I've got to take my hats off to it. Pretty impressive. Uh, well over 100 decibels. Uh, that's pretty amazing. So that's at 90% uh, right around between 90 and 95 percent volume you go any more it's distortion so I want distortion free presentation of this speaker system so we're gonna go ahead and get started now now we're gonna turn it up this is just out here to give you an idea I've got the base at uh, almost max and the treble of course is up at the highest I really like a, a crisp uh, this tweeter here is really nice detail on it but no harshness at all I'm really liking the high end on this speaker so now let's wait no further let's go ahead and turn it up see how it does up a little bit more there so you can kind of see real nice sound here for I have an awning above my patio here so it does really well got to get an idea it's got you know not the deepest bass in the world but it's it's punchy it's got some nice thump to it we're going to go ahead and turn it up some more. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn it up now. I am 20 feet exactly from the speaker. And those readings are from 20 feet away. Not bad at all. All right, well, final thoughts on this. Not bad for the price. Uh, it being under 60, I think it's $66 on Amazon, directly from their Amazon store. If you need a little portable system, whether it be a PA, unfortunately I don't have a microphone. Uh, this is gonna be really nice. It does have the equalizer on the remote. It actually helps out there. And that really can balance through the different sound fields so it really can sharpen the speaker the way you want it and then you can use fine tuning on the back panel with the separate bass from treble so really a versatile speaker compact lightweight and you got 24 hours of continuous music or performance whatever you're doing with it without having to recharge that battery so my hat's off to QFX, a really nice uh, sounding speaker here. Okay, now I will leave a link in the description down below the video there. Check it out. You'll be able to get this for under $67 at Amazon, including free shipping. Can't beat that as well. It'll be quick shipping, that is. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these type of Bluetooth speakers to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.